We are about to cook with Seattle's Rock Creek Seafood and Spirits, who are about to open a second location in Kirkland later this month. Now, the Rock Creek menu focuses on globally sourced seafood from well-managed fisheries. You know how passionate I am about that. Hmm. And here to show us what they're all about is their executive chef, Eric Donnelly. Thank you for being here. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Good morning, Seattle. How are we doing? We, they're hungry. <laughs> hungry. I think we're all hungry right well, now. Visually I, hungry as you uh, climb over to the fridge and grab something. <laughs> um, well, I already warned everyone that my stomach may growl during the segment, so I'm it. apologizing for that because everything already looks delicious, and it looks like a pretty simple dish, right? Very simple dish. Fun little party dish, and honestly, one of my favorite dishes to make for a brunch party or a brunch uh, that we host. Okay, um, so we've got some grits cooking, but we're going to be making prawns, right? Yes, we are going to cook some Carolina, <laughs> wild Carolina prawns. Uh, wild right Carolina, like from the Carolinas? Carolinas, Carolinas, Carolinas. Oh. Low, low country stuff here. Um, and my background is a lot of it is, was steeped in southern food. Even though I'm from the northwest, um, I grew up cooking a lot of southern food. Gumbos, huh. jambalayas, and et cetera. Um, and with these, we've got these shrimp, and we're going to cook them in brown butter. Oh. And, uh, and that's the base and foundation of the dish. So okay. basically, Emily, when we start, we get them in there, mm -hmm. a little butter, and we let that go, and it'll start talking. You can hear it. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it'll kind of stop talking in a second. It'll be brown. <laughs> I love that. I've never had heard someone say the butter was talking to me, yeah, but it, it's hear good. It. Sizzling away. And you can see it's starting to brown. It's cooking out that milk solids in there. And then in this dish, it goes so fast mm -hmm. that I like to add my garlic. Right away? Right away. Even before it's fully browned? Before it's fully browned. Okay. Because it'll start to toast. And a lot of people just like to sweat garlic. I like mm -hmm. to toast it. You like so to toast like, it. So All it's right. nice depth of flavor and okay. brown. And then as that gets nice and brown, we're going to add our serrano peppers here in a second. Okay, there you go. And we've got rosemary that goes in as well. We're just gonna fry and crack in there. And that's fresh rosemary. Don't fresh be, rosemary. Don't be confused. Don't be getting down in the Safeway aisle, <laughs> getting that stuff, <laughs> all that business. Okay, now wow, our brown- that our smells incredible, lovely, just that right? right there. Oh, the butter is mm. starting to get that nutty smell. And mm, all of it. Oh, I like yeah. to season our shrimp. A little salt. Season your food for crying out loud. We've had a lot of conversation about this lately. Have you? Please, season your food. Please, don't, don't mess around. <laughs> don't season mess your around, food. season your food. So the shrimp go in, okay. and this is going to bring the temperature down in the pan a little bit, and so it should, okay. in essence, stop cooking a little bit. Okay, so of it, the garlic. It, it changes kind of the science of the heat right now. Exactly. Which I like. That's very cool. I never knew that. I always would think you'd have to turn it down. I always mess with my the, temperature, which uh, I should probably not. Commit. Commit. Just commit. This, I love learning commit. these new things. Commit. Okay. Woo. Okay. I don't know if Oops. I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm be losing We're shrimp the all over side. the house. Cool. Okay. And right here we've got a little shrimp stock. And that's going to stop, definitely bring down the temperature. And we're going to add a lemon Worcestershire and a little bit more butter okay. to this dish. I got a question, because yes. I got to tell you, I, I'm pretty familiar with how you make chicken stock, uh -huh. bone broth. How do you make shrimp stock? Same, same principle. Oh, yeah? Shrimp shells. Just boiling them down. Boil them down, roast them. Okay. Got a little lemon juice here. What was that dark liquid you put in there? Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, I missed that one. Okay. You got it. A little more salt. Oh, this is like everything in my flavor profile that I've ever and wanted in life. A little bit more life. butter. Oof. At this point, we're going to swirl it around. Okay. Mount that butter in there. Well, We've got good. our grits ready to go. Yeah, how'd you get these grits? Clean. Like, these are yeah, you a little You say you southern cook. I want to hear how you do cook. this. So these, we import our grits from Mississippi. We've gotten them from uh, Alabama before, from this place in Birmingham. Okay. And uh, these have uh, a little bit of uh, chicken stock, milk, butter, hot sauce, salt. Is there any bacon in there? Or? No bacon. What there is could there? be though. There could. Ooh, I, if you make right. onion, bacon, all right, I'm chilies, just throwing that in there. All that business. Okay. As you see over here, our sauce is starting to emulsify. Oh, look at that! It's our beautiful. shrimp are perfectly cooked. Oh, I'm gonna let that hang so over here for a second. Okay. All right. To your right, we've got a little one of our one of our signature signature dishes from okay. Rock Creek, which is a little cauliflower salad. Raw cauliflower, cauliflower salad. Okay. Shaved raw cauliflower. Oh wow. Parsley, pecorino, pine nuts, celery. Faro and Calabrian peppers. It's so color. It's beautiful. Beautiful, right? For a okay. little spring summer dish. All right. Do you want me to toss that for you? We've got a little white balsamic vinegar. Oh, if I, you would like to toss balsamic, that on. White balsamic. Okay. How much? Okay. How much? Come on. This is a good question. Come on. Commit. Uh, uh, commit. Commit. Okay. Just go. All right. All right. I'm gonna commit. I just you know One I don't more. like I don't like too much dressing. There you go. All right. Perfect. I committed. So I'm this, gonna try this too. Kind of like Italian coleslaw, basically. Oh, that's good. Oh, so you want it to be like a coleslaw texture? Yeah, it's yeah. It's not a salad. Kinda, it's a no, coleslaw. No, it's like a creamy, creamy, creamy little dish. Okay. So we got this here again. Okay. Get that salt over there. Yes, sir. Hit me with a little seasoning. Come okay, on. Okay, I got you. I got Commit. you. 
Committing. Look at committing. Awesome. I love it. Okay. Season your food. Thank you. Okay, so this just goes on a little plate. Very simple. I love the parsley and the peppers. It's and just the so sparrow. pretty. I mean, it really is. Crunch. I love this. Dish. And the, the, you serve this. So I, I should order the salad the and the salad, shrimp. Shrimp and grits. Oh, I'm Every time. So here for that. Every time. All right, I'm getting in here. Getting up in here right now, folks. Beautiful. Why are you snacking on that? Mm, really good. Plate it's very upper. fresh. Lovely, huh? I've never Summer. had white balsamic vinegar. I got questions about that too. Oh, it's so good. So good. De Laurentiis. Yeah. That's your spot. De Laurentiis. That's where you get that? That's yeah. where I get my. Well, that's where I get a lot of my stuff. I know. My cherries, is trouble. especially. Oh, it is. <laughs> it's trouble. It is Every trouble. time I'm like, hey, I'm just going to grab a box of $200 salt. $200 later. Oh, 200 Shoot. <laughs> well, Watch see, out. I'm, not I'm a walking chef. out of there. I'm, I'm, I'm pouring out of there with all kinds of anchovies, sardines, <laughs> wine. You name it. All right, let's get back to Rock Creek. <laughs> What else do you serve at the restaurant? Oh, all kinds of fish from all over the globe, uh, from different tunas to mackerel to um, Chilean sea bass, mm -hmm. one of our things, black cod, local fish, no salmon, no halibut. That's the only thing. No salmon? Why? It's the Northwest. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. You got really salmon, halibut, yeah. right? And when we did that, originally when I opened, everybody just went for salmon and halibut. Yeah. And then we were having trouble, you know, we were bringing in striped bass from the Chesapeake, bluefish, yeah. um, all kinds of stuff, groupers and all this stuff, and everybody went to their familiar. Yeah. So you were like, no, none no, of that. We're going to get outside of the box. I like that. You know so what he did? That. He committed. I committed. Yeah, he committed to I'm it. I'm a committer. All right. And then I love to garnish this dish with lots of crunchy, lovely scallions on top here. I do love a scallion. Right Man, I would, I could eat here every day. This is definitely my whole flavor profile. Hold on, I'm gonna get up in here right now, because I gotta try this. Oh, I love scallions. Oh, this smells good. Are you guys ready for this? You're so jealous right now. Mm. Oh my god. Slide over. Oh my god. Good. I have some seriously good food right there. Love it. Oh, all right. I, I gotta mm. say, please come back anytime and make me shrimp and grits. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Go check out Rock Creek, and thank you, my friends, for spending time with us today. You can check our website for more of our content. You can always send us an email and share your thoughts, but most important, get out there and enjoy your new day. We'll see you next time.